This is Pastor Marquise Johns from the Metropolitan Seventh-day Adventist Church. Just rapped from the Molly Music Concert, Beasting for the Kingdom, and you are watching Agape Soul Nation TV. We wanted to preach uh, the prophecies of Daniel. We wanted to preach the prophecies, but we wanted to do it in a new and unique way. And one of the things that is, in, that is, a, is very important to the postmodern and the postmodern millennial is relationships. So we wanted to preach the prophecies in a relational way. And so a friend of mine and I, Joel Sam, who works with me on all my media and tech, we were kind of in the gym and we were just like, yo, son, we got a beast. We got a beast. We was like, yo, we should call a series Beast. Beast for the kingdom. And I mean, and because, you know, in Daniel chapter seven, you have all of these different beasts. You have the lion with the eagle's wings, the leopard with the wings of a fowl. Beast. And, we, and, and nowadays, beast being an animal means you go hard for what you believe in. And we believe that Daniel was somebody who went hard for the kingdom. So what we're just doing is this series about beasting, going hard for the kingdom. And, and we believe that this generation, the millennial generation under the, you know, under the umbrella of postmodernism, they go hard. Whatever they, if they're going to go to hell, they're going to go hard going to hell. If they're going to go to heaven, they're going to go hard going to heaven. And so what we wanted to do was create an atmosphere where they could go hard. And Molly was the inevitable choice for the artist. I mean, Molly goes hard. His sound is new. His sound is fresh. Um, like we, I mean, we sold this place out. Because that generation, people say, oh, college kids don't have money. We had a whole bunch of college kids here tonight. And what we did is we, we used, if you will, Molly's, Molly's uniqueness to our advantage. We used him being a beast for the kingdom to, to, to our advantage. And all we wanted to do, yeah, I mean, if anybody who attended tonight, we didn't get up and preach nothing to them. We didn't get up and try to inundate them with any new brand or old brand of theology. We just said, listen, let's have a worship good time. We left a couple brochures on the, on the chairs. They could look at them not but but basically the whole concept behind beast for the kingdom is that we go hard so we can go home i grew up in um, los angeles california south central gang bang sold drugs the whole nine yards but i was also in the music industry i was a rapper and god literally spoke to me it was one of the few times in my life that i can say that i heard him audibly felt him in a kinesthetic manner and uh it just it really turned my life around and so from that point on I began my track or my journey to see how I could best serve him. My ministry goals uh, is, 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 is very simple. It's, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. God has called us to preach the three angels message and that is my mandate and to preach the, the three angels message to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. And so by, by whatever means and any means necessary, we will preach the gospel to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. You know, interestingly enough, Many of the churches are seeing the young people make a mass exodus out of the ranks. And one of the reasons why is because I believe that there is this disconnect. There is the overarching concept of the postmodern mind. But what we fail to realize is that the postmodern mind is... It touches on more than just one generational group. It touches on the boomers. It touches on the extras. And it focuses on the millennials. We've tailored our ministry to reach the millennials. And the reason why is because the millennials are growing up and they want to make a difference, but they're distancing themselves from God. And so what we've done, what we've attempted to do, which is not really that cutting edge, if anybody wants to make it in this market, you're going to have to embrace technology. So what we've done is we've embraced media, we've embraced technology, and we're... We're not dumbing down the gospel, but we're using a very, what I like to call, liberal methodology to convey a very conservative theology. You'd be surprised what you can do um, if you just make some tweaks or tweak some things method-wise. For instance, when God called the children of Israel, well, better yet, let's go back a little bit further. During the antediluvian age, when the people were threatened by a flood, the message was salvation, but the method for salvation was the ark. And then you had... God wanting to deliver the people from uh, Egypt. The message was salvation, but the method was blood over the door. Even in a time when people wanted to use tents, and, and there were some people who said, no, you can't use tents because the circuses are not of God. Well, the message was salvation, but the method was a tent. And so now what we're doing is we're doing the same things. We've got the same message, but we've just used a different methodology, and that methodology is media and technology. What's next for Metro Seventh-day Adventist Church? Well, there's something in the air. Let me just say that. Uh, that's, that's what we're going to use to begin to uh, get the word out for our next series. We're doing a series starting July 29th with Dr. Carlton um, Bird of the Breath of Life Ministries. And we will have as our special musical guest, Marvin Sapp. 
So that'll be July 29th through August 11th. He'll be with us Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so um, that's the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to do, by God's grace, a citywide suite. We're going to try and just spread the word to as many people as we possibly can about um, this next series that is going to be called Airborne. You know, the Bible talks about us being caught up together to meet God in the air. And so we want to get airborne. And so we'll get airborne with Dr. Carlson Bird and Breath of Life Ministries with our special musical guest, Marvin Sapp. Here's the thing, and this is just keeping it, keeping it 100 with you right now. God has called you because you're you. Um, God called me because I'm me. I use a lot of marketing strategies, a lot of PR. I, I'm not doing Bible work. I'm doing PR. I'm, I mean, we had a presence on WKYS and 104 Praise. God has called you to be you. And so stop trying to be somebody else. Like I didn't come into ministry and try to be anyone else. I'm being me. And so the word of encouragement that I can give is that God has called you to be you. God did not call Daniel to be Jeremiah. God did not call Jeremiah to be Ezekiel. God did not call Ezekiel to be Isaiah. He called Isaiah to be Isaiah, Ezekiel to be Ezekiel, Daniel to be Daniel, and Jeremiah to be Jeremiah. So what you need to do is you need to be who you are. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just being myself. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I'm not trying to adopt anybody else's methodology. I'm being the person that God called me to be. Daniel was not the weeping prophet. Jeremiah was. And because Jeremiah was the weeping prophet, he wrote Lamentations. Daniel did not. And if it wasn't for Jeremiah embracing that he was the weeping prophet, we wouldn't have Lamentations. And so my word of encouragement, the word I want to put into your spirit today is this, is be who you are. God has called you because you are uniquely you. And being uniquely you is going to bring an approach that nobody else is doing. Okay, well, if you, if you want to get in touch with us, um, hit us on www.metrosda.org or metroadventist.org. Visit us at 6307 Riggs Road, Hyattsville, Maryland, 2720. 20720. Uh, myself and Pastor Brenda Billingy will welcome you any Saturday at 11 o'clock. We have a Wednesday night meeting at 730 called Prep School. And every first and third Sabbath, we do a young adult um, worship experience similar to what you had here called Lift It. So Lift It every first and third Saturday, every Wednesday at 730, um, prep school, and then every Sabbath we bring in a mighty word from God where our theme this year is one accord. We're going systematically through the book of Acts. So if you're in the area, stop by 6307 Riggs Road or visit us online where we stream live every Saturday at www.metroadventist.org or www.metrosda.org. You are with Pastor Marquise Johns from the Mighty Metropolitan Seventh-day Adventist Church, and you are watching Agape Soul Nation TV, beasting for the kingdom.